Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, this is an interesting little lock. This is a Sergeant XC, and this was sent to me by Rubber Band. And you might see on the key there's something a bit strange going on. There's a little notch here, and there's a cutout there. Why? Well, there's a small internal check pin on the inside here that I think is interacted with by the tip of the key and this little check pin there can fall down into this notch once you've sort of pushed it from the tip. So watch, 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 see it drop down and it turns. So if you don't interact with the pin or whatever mechanism, is, whatever mechanism it is at the back with your pick, then it will not um, turn. So if I put in this pick here and I find that little mechanism, see, if I just pull back on it, you see it drop down just like that. Now, I haven't actually gutted this at all. So I'm genuinely interested to know how this little mechanism works. You push something here and this little pin drops in allowing the whole plug to turn. Other than that, I don't really know how it's all linked up. So let's see if we can pick it and then we'll gut it and we'll find out together. So with this lock, I can probably guess where it's on top of the keyway tension. I've got a 1.2 millimeter pry bar there. That, that should work. I've got a um, Sparrow's Lunatic. Gives a nice reach, so when I do pick off the bottom of this lock, um, should be able to see what, feel what's going on. So there's six pins in here, I think. So let's see what is binding. It's certainly not six and five. Oh, little click off four. Three. Two, back to the back. Nice click on a oh, field six binding now. Walking it up. And get it. There, got it, I think. Okay. Nothing on five or four. They'll click on three again. They'll click on two. There we go. And on to pin one. Oh, that really wants to be set high. Let's try and get on top of that. Quite an extreme angle. Ah, and I think, I think, let me have a feel through. We might be picked. Yeah, six is nice and loose. Five solid, four, three, two very high, one seemingly higher. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to use this Peterson gem. Going to go in. Interact with that little pin, loosen the tension up a little bit. Interact with that little pin or whatever it is at the back of the lock. And I have to, have to admit, I don't really know what that is. And there we go, we are open. So, makes me wonder really what's going on inside that. The only way to find out is to gut it. So, um, I'm going to lock that back up and get going gutting this lock. Oh, phew, that was hard. Oh my goodness, no wonder, look at that. That's crazy. That's like the worst circlip to get off ever. Okay, well, at least we got it off.
Okay, so I've got no idea what's going on with that mechanism. That's that's something special, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. Okay, let's keep cutting. Okay, so I've got it the lock and it looks like this mechanism is hinged and you can't remove it. You see how just here there's the other side and it seems to be uh, the pin is polished down flat and there's a pin here. But it's literally just uh, sprung a bit like a catapult. It reminds me of a catapult, you know, wee. There you go. Um, and it's hinged here and then it's that pin at the back. So if I get my hook all the way down and try and find it. There you go. You can see that if you push it up, you move that down. See from the underside, can we see anything? I think it's there, isn't it? That little pin there. Yeah, it is. I can feel it as I tap tiny little pin just to the side that you interact with and it acts like a seesaw as you push up on that the other bit goes down really interesting little mechanism and very cute reminds me a bit of the uh, Vero handbag lock with its sort of secret check pin um, the other pins not very remarkable um, there were a couple of wafers in the key pin positions uh, so here and here and that makes no real difference whatsoever in terms of picking but here um, it does so there is a wafer on the driver side and that's why I didn't have to push uh, this pin 2 up anywhere near as far as I thought I would have to um, but there you go so there's definitely a uh, a bit of an easier pick because of position 2 not by much but um, a little bit so there you go, nice steel springs, standard keeping standard driver pins, henceforth why it was a pretty quick pick, but the fun of that lock is that awesome little check pin mechanism, and that's kind of cute, I like it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you all next time.